All right, everybody, welcome back to Sasquatch Performance Garage. Today, we're gonna to start working on the 2015 Golf. And we're gonna start tearing it apart a little bit. We're gonna get down to the oil cooler, pull the oil cooler off, along with probably the water pump since it's kinda of in the same area and kinda of to mess with it. But we're gonna then test the oil cooler, make sure that it actually is blown. Um, if it is, we're just gonna drain all the fluids, do the oil cooler, uh, you know, do some flushing, and see if we can get it running and, and good to go. Uh, if it isn't blown, we're gonna go deeper. We're gonna have to start pulling the engine out, we're gonna do the head gasket, and we'll go from there. But right now we're just gonna start with that and I'll bring you guys along for the ride. Let's do it. Buddy. So, got the air cleaner uh, and snorkel out. Got the battery out because I need to get a new one anyways. Then we took the cover off. And so now we're gonna go ahead and look at what the intake manifold looks like and what we're gonna need to possibly take apart to get to it. Try and do the minimal amount of work as possible uh, just to get to it. I just don't want to take too much apart. So, let's see what we got. All right, so here's our intake manifold. Looks like we got two bolts for each runner practically, or four bolts. So we got the two outside here, two in the middle, two right there as well, two there, and then two more over here. We're gonna have to take off the intake hose there. Looks like there's a coolant line attached to it as well. So we're gonna see what we can take apart to get to it. Uh, obviously some electrical connectors and all that. Um, you know, if I gotta take apart more, I will, but I wanna see if I can get to it without having to do too much, so. Let's keep on going. All right, so a little bit of an unfortunate situation. Uh, I dropped my tool, or both of my T30s for the intake manifold bolts. Uh, I guess I don't have them attached to my tools that well. So I got everything else taken apart off of the intake manifold to get it going, but looks like I'm gonna have to take my Turbo Fox body to O'Reilly's to get some more tools, because I can't even see them to get my little grabber or a magnet on them, so I have no idea where they're at. So we're gonna go real quick and get those tools. Might get some more stuff while I'm there. Uh, I was planning on going anyways, so just make it all on one trip. So let's go. All right, here we go. Got the Shelby and the Fox body right next to each other with the two trucks. So I'm gonna go ahead Unlock it. Let's get inside. Ooh. Let the fuel pump prime. Let the holly start up. There we go. E85. Let's go. Got the intake manifold off. Uh, it's pretty grody on the inside. The uh, valves barely want to move, but it's definitely a lot of buildup of carbon and oil and gunk and all that good stuff. So it's a good possibility that what I'm gonna do is probably get the walnut cleaning kit to be able to clean the backside of the intake valves, 
because I'm sure if the intake looks like this, the valves are just as bad. I haven't looked at them yet, but I'm about to take you to them and we'll see them for the first time together. But definitely need to clean this thing up. It's, uh, it's pretty grody. So put this down real quick. Well, if we can look inside there, hopefully I can see it. It is pretty dirty in there. Every single one. Every single one's got some grodiness to it, so it's definitely a good idea that I should clean this up. So, we'll do that. Next thing we got, we're gonna have to do, deal with this oil cooler here. And there's all my tools that I dropped right there on top of the water pump, so that's nice. What we're gonna do, the water pump most likely what we have to take apart along with that oil cooler, so let's get to it on there. got the water pump unbolted so it's kind of draining out but yeah it is it is disgusting in there a lot of milkshake I'm really hoping that it's just the oil cooler here and I can just do a shitload of flushing because if it's just that then I can I can easily flush it It'd be no big deal but if not then we're gonna go in some deeper stuff here I'm gonna finish taking this out so that we can get to the oil cooler and then we can test the oil cooler it's something super simple easy way to do it so I'll show you guys here in a bit <laughs> All right, so unfortunate circumstance here. We ended up, or I was able to end up taking off the oil cooler, which is kind of a bitch because of the two bolts closest to the engine block. There was really no way to get to them other than uh, getting a, another tool from the store where I had to get a, an Allen wrench Torx bit. So pulled it off and way to test these simplest way is blow on one side, cover up the other hole and see if air is coming out of the other way. So, no air. So our oil cooler was not the issue. <sighs> kind of wish it was, because now this means I'm taking out the engine and doing a rebuild with the blown head gasket. So, granted, I can't complain too much. It was a free car, but, uh, Still sucks because now I gotta work on it a little bit more. But it is what it is. <sighs> so I'm gonna go ahead, end off the video here. Appreciate you guys watching Sasquatch Performance Garage. Please consider liking, subscribing, and commenting. Obviously, I got a lot more crap to do on this car. Next video will be starting to take apart the car to pull the engine out. Uh, I got the cherry picker from, from my, uh, my mom's house and uh, just preemptively, luckily I did. All right, see you guys later.